everybody, it's Rick Utzer here again with Ergon Webb, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. And today we've got a completely different type of video. We haven't done one of these in a long time, but I think it's very important to talk about, and that's basic Ergon maintenance. Stay with us. I hope you guys like this. Okay, so spring air guns, they're inexpensive, they got great power, a lot of them can produce some pretty decent accuracy. They got a lot going on. Back in the day, when spring guns first started out, the seals on the guns were actually made out of leather, so maintenance was actually really important. The seals are now made out of a polymer, so they don't break down like the old leather seals do, and really, you really don't need to do a lot with them you know, there's still that tendency as guys, or maybe you girls too out there, you want to, you want to, you think you got to clean something, you got to lube it, you got to do something, because that's just what you do. You got a truck, you change your oil, you got a car, you, you change your oil, you rotate the tires. We have all these things in our head that we have to do. Now, the truth of the matter is, there's very little you need to do on modern air guns today. But there is something you can do that can take a gun that's shooting well and make it shoot better. Now, if you've done mechanic work, you go over to AutoZone or Raleigh's, those places, whatever, and you always see the little fix it in a can stuff. You know, uh, I pour this in my radiator and all my worries are gone. That doesn't really work. You guys know that. If there's something inherently wrong, you need to fix that. Pouring something in generally isn't going to fix anything. And that's no different with air guns. And the product we're going to talk about today is called Tune in a Tube. And this doesn't fix an air gun that isn't shooting well. What it will do is take an air gun that's shooting well and help you shoot better. It also makes the process of shooting, the whole shooting cycle, it makes that more enjoyable. This gun is a traditional Springer, and it has all the traditional Springer things. It's got a little buzz. It does what Springers do. It's got a little vibration, and we want to mitigate that. We want to make that less and that's where the tune of the tube comes into play it also provides really good lubrication for all the metallic internals so that it lasts a long time you don't really these days you really don't ever want to put anything in the transfer port now you're going to see guys on youtube i got 1600 feet per second just put some wd-40 down that thing and it's amazing yeah it'll blow up is what happens you're actually creating detonation and you're going to damage your gun you're going to blow up the seal break the spring Putting anything down the transfer port these days is kind of a waste of time. You don't need to do it. The, the materials that are in use today really don't necessitate the need of you putting anything in the transfer port. Now, back here in the cocking area, back here in the, like in the cylinder area where the spring and all, those, all the pieces run, that's where you can actually do something. And again, that's where the tune of the tube comes into play. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cock and shoot this gun quickly here. And I don't know if you're going to hear it, but I'm going to try and get it close to the mic here and see if you guys can hear this. All right, so you had this sort of, it, this is not very crunchy at all. This one is actually really pretty good, especially for a budget air gun. Um, let's see if we can capture some of the shot noise. Okay, so this actually shoots pretty smooth. This is a good example of a gun that's already shooting pretty well, and we're gonna get it to shoot just that little bit better. Okay, so the shooting cycle on this doesn't have a lot of vibration to begin with. It has some. The cocking stroke has a little bit of noise in there. Again, not terrible. What we're going to do is we're going to lube the spring inside. Now, the old days, the way you had to do that is take the gun apart. It required a spring compressor and a whole bunch of other things. And if you need to fix your gun, that's still how you would do it. But with this, we're actually going to be able to open the gun up, at least take it out of the stock, I should say, and put the lube down in between the coils on the spring. Let me show you what that's gonna do. I'm gonna have my assistant hand me that triangle over there. My sister is helping me run cameras today. 
She's gonna try and sneak in off frame and so you don't see her because that's the way she is. Thank you. All right, so imagine this is your spring. I wish I had a actual like a valve spring or something, but I don't. So, all right, so take this. Okay, we have that resonation, right? So we have the metals vibrating. If I were to dampen this, like um, just grab it, it doesn't vibrate. So this lube that we're using, this grease, is very, very sticky. And what it does effectively is grab the coils and prevents them from vibrating and reduces that resonance that you would normally get out of a spring. It makes a huge difference. So let's go ahead and start now. I've talked about the why. Let's go ahead and take this out of the stock and we'll get started. So first things first, I never turned screw one. First of all, I realized that I'm about to void the warranty. Most likely, read your warranty, see if you will or you won't, but I just assume that I am. And the second thing, I assume all responsibility for anything I do. So the minute I open this up, I own all of it. All, if I can't put it back together, I own all the pieces. I'm not gonna go back to the manufacturer, the vendor and say, hey, fix the gun I broke. I don't do that. I assume the responsibility. Once I open it up, it's 100% mine. So I encourage you to just have that mindset. So we got basically three stock screws we're gonna be working on. We've got the two forearm screws and the one back here in the trigger guard. Always use the right tool. So these front screws on this gun are a number two Phillips. The screw in the back is a number three Phillips. And I'm going to use the right tool so that we don't mess up the heads of the screws here. When you go to put this back together, I would suggest having some blue Loctite handy because spring guns are notorious for the screws kind of loosening up and that'll help you solve that problem too. Okay, it's very, very simple. Okay, so what we have here is access to the spring coil in this, comp this chamber here. This is the compression chamber up here. This is the cocking chamber. I don't know what you want to call this. The, this is where all the guts are. When you cock the gun, it compresses the spring, locks into the sear, you pull the trigger, flies forward, compresses all the air in here, and that's what shoots your pellet out. If we can smooth this out, it makes the whole shooting cycle that much nicer. So now that we've got this open, we're gonna go ahead and use our tune in a tube. Now the beauty of this is that we're able to actually get this and slot it inside this cocking area. And this is something that is very cool because we don't have to take the gun apart to do it. Now, this is like bro cream. That's an old reference, by the way. A little dab will do you. You do not need to use a lot of this stuff because it is very, very sticky and it flows everywhere. And then after you shoot it a couple times, it will just get pretty much everywhere. But we're gonna get it in between all those coils. Basically, anything that's got metal to metal going on, this is gonna make that experience a little bit nicer. You don't wanna overdo it because then it just becomes a big sticky mess. But you do wanna get enough in there. Okay, so there's enough tune in a tube and this little guy right here to probably do, I don't know, six to 10 rifles, just so you know. You don't need a lot. <clears throat> All right, so now it's basically we're going to put this back together. All right. Now we've got it all put back together. We'll uh, take a few shots. We've got to work that in. So it doesn't take very long to get everything sort of lubed back in the right way. Okay, I will tell you immediately there is a dramatic difference in how the gun cocks. It is much smoother. The shooting cycle is dramatically different too. I don't know if you can hear the difference 
but it is like night and day the contrast we're getting between like the before and after it is unbelievable before where there had some i don't know how to describe it, it had this buzz to it now it's just thud it is dramatically different it is th this is some great stuff i'm telling you if you've got a springer you love your spring guns this is loving your gun right here so that's it that's how tune into tube works what we've done is we've taken that spring that wants to resonate when it slams in there it's bouncing around and doing all kinds of stuff and it wants to vibrate so instead of this what we've done is we've made that. Just by adding that grease to that spring, you completely change the dynamics of the gun. All right, so we did some testing before, and we've done some testing now after. Now, before I was right at like that 684, pretty consistent. Now we're at like 675, 676, also very, very consistent. So generally speaking, what happens with the tune in the tube, you're gonna lose a little bit of velocity that's okay because you're going to gain consistency and when you want accuracy consistency with these guns is everything and that's what the tune in the tube does if your gun's already shooting well you use the tune in the tube it's going to shoot better guys it's going to wrap it up i want to say thank you to pyramid air for sponsoring airgun web in these videos and that's where you're going to get the tune in the tube so if you're looking for something like this www.pyramidair.com make sure you let them know that rick sent you their way my name is Rick Utzer here with Airgun Web, where we're going to tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.